wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back. It's good to be back. It is very, very nice to be back live with all of you wonderful people. A massive thank you to my lovely players, and as we say in Draconic, Odaijini to Scarlet, who is feeling a bit sick at the moment. Um, everyone send good vibes in Australia's Hello. direction. Nah. But uh, yes, hopefully she'll be better soon and we can welcome her back um, next time. But we have these three lovely people, which is good. And we are headed back to the Feywild, to Prismia, to Downfall, to the Soggy Court. <laughs> zoom, it's like a Google Google Maps zoom in. Okay, right. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us already, everybody. I see Baron Dragonborn, a new clan, and Papa Dragon. Hello, hello. And scrolling down, who else have we got here? Grim Samson. Uh, looking forward to seeing you a lot more in the future, sir. Um, Evie, good to see you again. You're lurking, so if you don't hear that, apologies. Hey, Mac, how you doing? Good to see you. And uh, welcome in. There he is. Hey, Grim. <laughs> That's Mike. Hi, guys. That's Mike. Shout out to him. <laughs> I just told I just told uh, your old Avernus chums, Mike. We were news. very thrilled. We were very thrilled. We had yes. many good things to say, like how sweet you are. <laughs> and we can strike the other things from the record. Right, okay, now. As <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so, um, as many of you have already noticed, there is a giveaway going on. Do type exclamation mark enter in chat for your chance to win the incredible encounters in the Feywild. Only time will tell greetings to you as well. We are well, thank you. Refreshed after a week off work and a week of streaming, but happy to be back to both. Right. <laughs> Cheers, Papa. You too, mate. You too. Okay. So, let us jump back into things here. First, look, we have two logos here. Not only do we have the wonderful CZRPG giving us lovely things to give to you people, but the fantastic Nathrax 3D minis. I was about the 3D. Sorry. Nathrax 3D minis, the fantastic gelatized, um, who you may know from the, the Twitch place here, another great D&D streamer, um, has a wonderful, wonderful um, 3D printing and painting business um, of minis. And you, um, see if I can remember this command, new command that I made a week ago. Huzzah! Yes. <laughs> you can head over to Nathrax 3D Minis and use the promotion code FELIXYWACKY and get a discount on your orders of the beautiful minis. Um, so please head on over there and give them a look. Very, very happy. Um, Gelatize has been um, a, a member of the Wackyverse for quite some time and it was very happy when he suggested giving you a nice discount code um, for all of you lovely people to use so please head over there and give them a look right now also a massive thank you to sirenscape of course if you want awesome music and oh look who it is a subscription not the first time subscription but the first time under that new name hans half elven formerly known as Hands Love to Thee. Good to see you, my friend. Congratulations on the new Monica. And it is nice to have you here, as always. Good to see you, mate. I hope that our queen and overlord of all Gorgonzola is doing well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good hope, indeed. Hey, GR, how you doing? All right. So, um, yes, head on over to sirenscape.com. You can get yourself a free trial of all of the music and sound effects and things that they have going on. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Good hands, glad to hear it, mate. And also, if you like this fabulous art that we have here, you can head on over to Evan Blair. That's not how you spell it. <laughs> there we go. Head on over to Evan Blair's various socials there, and you uh, can also commission for beautiful art like this and these lovely um, borders of ours as well, whereby our poor sick player, um, Scarlet. So if you want to head over and check out Scarlet's stuff, a fabulous Patreon, and all the other kind of things she has going on, there's her links there. Now, let us welcome these players properly hear what's going on in their worlds and dive back in to wild beyond the witch light
Da -da. If you would also like a lovely, lovely intro like that, you should have over to Quest Junkies UK Boop. and commission the wonderful Patch, indeed, who will be returning to us soon, both here on the channel as Carolyn Sturgrove in Chisenta's Tyranny next month, and to his own channel, more Regulus, as he got a new job which is more sympathetic towards um, his nerd needs. <laughs> and I did see that on Twitter. Yeah, it's good news. Good news indeed. Um, we are looking forward to um, seeing Patch on the regular again. Um, and he does beautiful work like that. He has also given us a new updated intro for Chisenta's Tyranny. So join us in about 12 Whoa. hours. No, in exactly 12 hours for that. Right, okay. Now, <laughs> although I, I kind of promise I will play the intro at... 10:21 p.m. But <laughs> yeah, around that time. Okay, so everybody, let <laughs> 10 out of 10 would commish patch again. Indeed, grim indeed. Right. Okay, my friends. So last time you arrived here in Downfall, the swampy, murky, fog enshrouded home of the Soggy Court, a collection of bullywug nobility led by King Gulp the 19th, at least for now, as the royalty here is slightly turbulent. They have been through many, many monarchs in a very short time. And, as they discovered, plans are afoot to unseat King Gulp the 19th, even as we continue our adventure here, as he was seen to be an ineffectual ruler for the way he let their fairy dragon friends, the Talivar, escape. And he has confirmed that because he has the Big Book of Grievances, he said, trying to remember the name of it off the top of his head. Is that what it's called? Oh, I was close. Bavlorna's Big Book of Bad Blood. There was more alliteration than I remembered. Oh. <laughs> um, on his the lap. The Book of Grievances is too simple, too simple for such a game. More alliteration. <laughs> Um, yes, the, the big book of bad blood um, was um, on his lap and he had confirmed that Bavlona is not happy about his actions in recent times. Um, the balloon factory, the swamp balloon factory almost burnt down as animated calls were unleashed by Sir Tolivar and his bodywork accomplices, but one of them was captured and thrown in the jail um, and the other one escaped with Sir Tolivar, but as our players discovered, unfortunately, um, were um, not able to survive the escape as the swamp balloon crashed into the slanty tower. And while Sitaliva was okay, the Bollywood um, accomplice was unfortunately not able to survive that crash. Now, as they continued to travel around Downfall, they discovered that some of Bavlona's evil and menace is seeping out into the surrounding swamp here as they were attacked by foul creatures. But the Bollywooks, chivalrous to a fault, came charging to their aid, and their previous guides that they had met, Sir Bluff and Lady Baltus, came charging in and rescued them from the evil, evil creatures. Now, as they continued and assisted in putting out the fires in the balloon factory. They were given a brooch to show to the king and prove their loyalty to the soggy court. And as they um, rounded the edge of the factory, they headed on to the bridge of severed heads. All of the severed heads of the previous monarchs still alive and chatting away at each other and bitching away at each other about who was the best and who should have been king. <laughs> um, were there. Um, they spoke to all of them, and the little fella Clapperclaw, who apparently um, is someone who can guide them to um, Thither, the next area, um, Emin's previous home here in Prismia, um, and they were hoping to um, use their um, services if they were able to arrive in Hither and aid them in um, confronting the terrible um, Harangon bandit leader who had stolen poor Clapacor's head and um, often away with it into, into Thither, um, being the annoying Batol that our players are accustomed to. Now, <laughs> um, as they talked to the various heads trying to discover just what on earth was going on here in Downfall <laughs> with the Soggy Court, um, they found the slightly crazy and um, 
decadent head of one Morgoth the First, and they talked with some of the other ones as well, and then they were ushered forward and into the court itself, which is where we find them on the map here. I'm sorry, I cannot zoom in any further than that because it is a huge map. <laughs> so that's as close as we're getting, I'm afraid. But there they discovered the king, Gullop the 19th, and various knights and courtiers lolling about the place, along as well as the king's pet baby crocodile, Snoodle, and they talked with them. And as they did so, and they were welcomed with uh, rather swampy goblets of wine, Emin discovered in the bottom of his goblet a secret message. The goblet was handed to him by that same Sir Bluff who had aided them earlier in the swamp, maybe hoping to lean on the rules of reciprocity and gain support in their current endeavours, as the bottom of the goblets contained a secret message. Find Illig, the Baron of Muckstump, at once. The revolution lives. And that bed of intrigue and courtly goings-on is where we return and find our adventurers today. Speaking of said adventurers, let's say hi hello to them. Willy, who are you in real life? Who are you playing and where are you at right now? There is no one here but Willy. Um, hi, I'm DM Charlie from DM Charlie Gaming. Uh, you can find me dmcharliegaming.com uh, with my cadre of professional DMs. Come and join us on our Discord. We play lots of great games, lots of opportunities to play, and sometimes I stream. Yeah, um, trying to figure out how it works for us. But that's me, and I'm playing obviously. Jimmy Grimm. There you go. Now, moving on. Evan, how about you? Who are you in real life? Who are you playing? Where are they at? Hello, everybody. I am Colby, and I'm playing the fairy rogue Emin Pastiche. Um, I have to believe that he is pretty... Like, he's mildly amused at this secret message that he's found in the bottom of his wine glass, because after his trek through the, the soggy port, he expected nothing less. <laughs> Thank you very much. And last but not least, Daisha. Can, can, oh, yeah, mate. I just wanted to interrupt because after Colby, now suddenly I feel like a gigantic narcissistic twank. So I just want to... Well, Davili is very excited to head into the negotiations, <laughs> but he is a bit nervous considering how his previous discussions with people of power here in the Feylands have gone. Uh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And, Stacia, who are you in real life? Who are you playing? Where are you at? In real life, I am Stephanie. Um, I am playing Daisha Festi, the Yonti Barbarian. I almost said rope. No, that's Emin's <laughs> job. Um, and she is, um, like, not disgusted. She's um, morbidly interested <laughs> in the goings-on of the court. That's the best way to describe where she's at. Fair, like, fair. like how, how uh, the ladies like true crime. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, thank you. Right, everyone, there we are. So, let us return to the Soggy Court with our adventurers here and see just what's going on as we start today's session. So, return over here. Okay. So, as the music dies away there and the and the gloops and the rivets and the croaks of the soggy courts rejoin us. Here is our gracious ruler, King Gullop the 19th, and Snoodle. As the harp music plays across and the nobles lazily nibble on an insect or two from passing platters, King Gullop looks up at you, impressed by your use of theatrics to introduce yourselves, even if you did not have an official herald. 
And, Erin, you have that secret message in your mind. And, please, address the court as you will. Um, I think uh, Emin is going to, you know, as he pulls his goblet away from his face, um, he's gonna kind of maybe jab at Daisha, because uh, I'm pretty sure she's the one that has that bronze fly. Um, I don't know, have we shown that yet, or? Um, I believe, yes. Okay. That was, that was shown. Hmm. I I think that maybe after after seeing this message, he would have been shaken enough to have forgotten that, and he would still like kind of jab at Daisha with his elbow and be like, "Dai, did you showed him the the fly, right?" <laughs> Brooch. I think it's a brooch. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little like, it's like rah, giant thing here. <laughs> this one? This rock? You're like, no, one, this? Of those, you're like one of those swirls, sign twirlers. Bitty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> um, yes, yes indeed. And uh, King Gollop peers forward through a monocle, um, a bulging monocle, of course. Oh, uh, sorry, his chamberlain does, I should say. Yes, that was. Uh, I, had, I don't. I know. I hadn't. I, why I hadn't noticed that before. That's so. That's so good. Such a nice little um, detail. Um, and the chamberlain turns, the one that beckoned you from the bridge, and says, mm, "Sire, they have uh, been gifted with a, uh, a sign of one of your duke's respect. They are clearly allies to the Gallop Dynasty." Yep, yeah. we work hard. <laughs> yes, I, I did rewatch a Fortnite's goes <laughs> episode to remember how I was doing the bully bully voice. I was like, "What the hell was I doing <laughs> with that again?" <laughs> um, the king, you know, leaning on his cane, you know, slightly movements slightly, <laughs> um, you know, impeded by the huge ruff and jewelry that, uh, and balancing his ridiculous flower crown on his head, <laughs> it's like. Yes, indeed. Please, come forward. Do not worry. A little snoodle does not bite. Daisha's going to walk forward with the brooch. <laughs> it's like a shield. <laughs> Willie will be right behind and left, sort of like interposing her at an angle to the throne. And just only moving when she moves and trying to make himself like fit behind her outline, <laughs> behind her profile. Just like I love trying that. to be as small as possible. I love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um but my yes. like Daisha is not good at this stuff. She was always socially awkward in her proper family. So she's just like, my liege as she like holds up the brooch. <laughs> okay. And um, and he he nods graciously. Mm, yes. Now, I have a proposition for one so faithful and diligent as these gracious visitors seem to be. I uh, I'm sure you're aware that only members of the soggy court are um, able to seek an audience with Bavlona in the middle of the pond and I would ask that you I invite you to join our noble household so that you may also visit Bavlona and in your visit as I assume it is there that your intentions take you then you can take this book and tell Bavlona that I was merely holding it for safekeeping. <laughs> Willie's eyes How long have you been holding it? From <laughs> beh behind Daisha's shoulder and neck, and he'll just be kind of looking up and over at, like, 
the king in the book and the king in the book and Daisha will feel a tiny little nudge with his shoulder, you know, nudging her forward. How long have you had the book? You got any late fees off that? Trying to like <laughs> funny, but also get information. Oh, not at all, not at all. And it was not I that <laughs> took it. It came into my possession recently and I wish it to be returned as quickly as possible. Uh-huh. Willie will will um will whisper Ask him what we get in return. We have to be members of the Sagi Court to return the book. So that is no reward. It is a condition of the task. So ask him our reciprocity. <laughs> and he'll keep looking up from behind her shoulder. <laughs> I love this. Um, what do we get? Oh, as I said, we shall <laughs> welcome you into our royal court, and you will be esteemed members of the Soggy Court, and you will be entitled, and you will have standing here, and, and you will be, be respected members of, of our, our royal group. And the um, several of the bullyogs around just politely clap. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, as Daisha claps, and she's like, as sweet as that is, um, and obviously, uh, 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 you know, a nice gesture. It's also something we kind of have to do. I mean, it wasn't on our list of things to do. So I'm wondering if. There was something that we needed or had a greater want for, trying really hard not to insult the king, um, that you could offer us. And then she like, turns, she's like, huh? huh? Like turning back to Willie. The king's yeah. eyes narrow. It's 50-50. And... By the way, how's, how's the audio today? Okay. And sometimes... Sometimes the voice mod is not is not good. You good? Everything's good on my end. Okay, cool. Kettle, cool. <laughs> kettle, indeed, good. Kettle, 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 kettle. By the way, this, this is the perfect time right. to be doing this part of the module. The the frogs here in Japan at the moment are going nuts. <laughs> oh, I miss oh, that was my favorite. Hey, my favorite time of year. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's like even if you're driving, if you've got the window open, you can just hear them just like coming through. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, and um, his eyes narrow, and he's like, an unwillingness to join the soggy court suggests you are working with them. Um, Willie, Willie will whisper in here. Say just kidding, and he will go to uh, knock her prone and take her down to the ground. Like we're both bowing with our heads into the ground. Do you go with that, or are you gonna resist it, Nasha? No, <laughs> she is not expecting it. Okay. I fully believe that she like hits her head and is just like on the floor, like coo -coo -coo -coo. <laughs> for sure. Little little fairies dancing on your head. Willie, yes. Willie will shout out unless Emmons says something first. Will shout out, oh great and un terrible potentate, most mightiest of of kings, my Majesty, my my liege. She was only kidding. Unfortunately, my friend, her people they are crude and not as refined to the social niceties as someone such as yourself. Oh great and mighty of. Phoebean Lord, we grovel before you and would like to make a persuasion check, please. Um, we brought a fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the, the, the swift the swiftness and dare I say toadying of your actions <laughs> <laughs> um, is 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 enough without a roll to, to appease him. And he, he smiles broadly as only a frog can. <laughs> Um, very in a very broad manner, and, and you should uh, you should have hit the the rim shot or the sat the sad trombone. <laughs> there you go. And there we go. 
<laughs> and um, you um, you see him smiles kind of almost smugly at this this proper addressing of his real person and he's like well then if you are to be loyal subjects and members of the Soggy Court I look forward to entertaining you with more after you have returned this book as, as you command and wish my lord I thank you. I thank you. Um, please go with my chamberlain here to the royal palace where you shall be suitably attired as emissaries of the soggy court. <laughs> Who digs? Bowing, backing out, bowing head, bobbing really, really low until he's like 12 paces away. <laughs> Willie will turn and whisper at Emin, they're going to dress us. And then looking at the ruffs and the frills and the 17th century just ridiculousness of the uh, of the court. Oh, shiza. <laughs> um, Emin is going to, like, without even, like, uh, without any change in his expression, he's going to, like, pull out his disguise kit and, like, and he's going to say, oh, no thanks, I got my own. <laughs> and he, like, pulls out this accordion of, like, <laughs> neck, like... <laughs> Again, there was, there was, a, there was, a, there was a, a burble of indignation, but then that that's immediately subsides as, as he sees that you are in tune with the fashions of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yes, yes. Tem trembling, if you will. And he clunk, clunk, bonks his stuff on the ground. And the Chamberlain does a bandy-legged kind of half curtsy, half bow, and says, At once, oh, your highness. <laughs> and um, he's like, this way, if you please. Um, and uh, starts to lead you out towards the east. Um and I do not have a token for him, but he is leading you if you would like to head east there. Absolutely. East, east, Absolutely. east, east. I was, <laughs> I was just thinking, John, that that NPC voice is one of the ones that if we were particularly nasty players, we would somehow figure out a way to make that NPC recurring. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not too chat taxing. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I love it. I love that one. It's I don't know which way it's east. <laughs> east? Right. Are we easting? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're no, in the Feywild. What I'm talking east. about. Again, look, go right, please. Go right. <laughs> okay. Had it right. Everyone was laughing, so I was like, I don't think I'm easting right. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so as you exit the back of the lopsided gazebo, um, you make your way across. Hang out there for a second, Aisha. Um, yeah. You make your way over there. Yeah. Um, go go down a little bit there, if you would. Yes, there you go. That's Yikes. right, really. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, they do have some. They do Hello. have some some serious guards as well. <laughs> um, by the way, everyone, the the um, the minimal lighting here is representing the mist. So this is not darkness surrounding them, but uh, heavy mist. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of flavoring it uh, more appropriately. But there we go. Um, okay. So as you follow the chamberlain across. Um, the causeway there, squelching through the reeds and um, on your way across to the palace. Um, let me see, do we have... This one, I think. Okay. The sound effects in the background are just killing <laughs> Great, aren't they? Yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> that is how royal frogs would sound. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you head on over um, in that direction. And... Um, uh oh. Hmm? Music changed to heavy strings. We're in trouble. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. No, I know. I don't trust. I do not trust. <laughs> never, never. No better. What? 
goodness me. Um, okay, so... I, I foolishly thought, since I'm another mostly DM, uh -huh. that there'd be some professional courtesy here. I was so sadly mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> now, I will say one thing. Um, towards the far right, um, as everyone in, uh, in regular viewers will know that in the Feywild here, we do not have north, south, east, and west. We have up, down, left, and right. Um, over um, on the far right, in the mists off in that direction, you see um, crackles of lightning um, playing through the clouds and just generally flickering and illuminating the mists in that direction. Perception roll to determine if it's magical or um, some sort of uh, implement, like machinery. Um, I would go um, Arcana or um, or Nature. Yeah, they're the same. They're both int based. I'll go Arcana just for the flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, only an eleven. Okay. Um, it looked like a kind of natural, natural lightning bolt to you, but it wasn't. It wasn't from very high up and coming down towards the ground. It was kind of playing through. Which, I mean, there, was, you know, there are other types of lightning you know, arcing between clouds and stuff as well, but it was very low. It was, only, it was only like 30, 40 feet off the ground. I will... Pardon me, Chamberlain. Un Chamberlain. Oh, yes. What, what is the nature of that very small localized storm over there? I have never seen the like before. Oh, <laughs> that is the... Um... That is the uh, vehicular transport that our visiting, visiting Darklings have used to arrive. It is their balloon. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. For, I, you know, I've never seen one of the balloons aloft. Might we go look? I was given a direct order by King Gallop the 19th himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't want to get you into any trouble because... You know, clearly in a place like this, everyone follows the rules all the time, yeah. Except for those dastardly revolutionaries. No, oh, against Ow. such a fine potentate? Yes, yeah. Daisha, what, what were you going to say, my friend? After we're dressed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. That's nice. Okay. Um, as you um, follow the Chamberlain into the palace, um, you, the guard and his crocodile companion there, it's just a regular crocodile. Um, <laughs> just a regular crocodile. Um, this is normal. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Um, ha um, move out of the way for you and um, allow you to enter. I shall do that as you make your way up the um, little ramp that leads up to the doorway there. You find yourselves on the interior. Really? <laughs> Stay still. Sorry. So that I may drag you through the wall. Oh, okay. No, it just wasn't <laughs> moving. I was wondering what had happened. I think, actually, I wonder, is the... Oh, the, the door is not actually closed. Okay, cool, cool. I thought it might be more blocked off for you. But yeah, you could have, you could have done that yourselves. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yes, you find yourself inside the palace, the sinking palace, as it is known. Um, this ramshackle hall is built around a big tree. Two of the tree's limbs reach out through the walls like enormous welcoming arms. The interior of the hall, as you make your way through, is roomy, with an open floor plan that allows occupants of the upper story to look out over the lower one which is, you're in the upper part there. Um, Bollywood courtiers crowd into the space, filling it with their guttural croaks. Their clothing is faded and stained with mud. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you've entered into that main part there, which is built around the trunk of the tree. The main, the main trunk is here. And I am it, never going to be able to keep these frills clean. <laughs> um, and also, by the way, um, as you are um, approaching on the, 
how do I do this? On the down left side, <laughs> the southwest side, uh, on the down left side of the palace, you'd see another of those long um, clothes lines dip disappearing off towards the center of the pond and um, in the direction of what you assume to be um, the um, hut of Bavlona, as they all seem to be heading towards the center of the pond. But again, with various multiple um, patchwork garments hanging off them. Is it within reach? Can I, like, pull on the clothesline? Um, if you go down left from where you are now, you would find yourself next to it. Oh, okay. So if you, you want to head into that little room there. Can I... I can see it? Oh, over um, here. Th over there, over there, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. No worries. Uh, yep, see, there's a window there. You can see the... I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna reach yeah. out and pull on the clothesline. Um, okay. Um, it only has a little bit of give, and it's pretty heavy. You know, just for its length and, and all the garments that are hanging up from it. Okay. Curiosity satisfied. <laughs> um, okay. And um, actually, Daish is gonna be like, are these it? And, like, take clothes off the clothesline. <laughs> um, and... Um, the Chamberlain says, um, he's like, if, if you wish, you may use those, or, or, or we have more garments over here. I will follow him. Okay. Um, Daisha, uh, you and Corey are offered um, the opposite room, uh, away from the the gentleman. Um, if you no, would... stinky boys! <laughs> um, and um, you do head off um, into different parts and various courtiers and um, ladies, froggy ladies in waiting um, are uh, assigned to you and um, from large slightly mildewy um, chests, various frills and laced garments with you know, big lace cuffs and everything are, are brought forward and you change, yes? <laughs> yes. Okay, and you change sure. into these garments um, and your armor and other clothes are put into the chests in their place here. Yeah. And um, you emerge back onto that um, central balcony overlooking the pool. If you go to that ramp, um, just to the bottom right, you can see the kind of pool area below there. Yeah, that's right, Daisha. How lovely. Is that, that, so you can see the lower level is completely submerged in water. Um, so John, and... I'm going to read that last statement as unequipped armor. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Um, Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the lower the lower levels like submerged in three in just three inches of uh, of water, uh, and there are lots of courtiers um, around that place as the music that we hear is being played by a trio of Bollywood musicians. Can I see where they are? Are they in the water? Um, yeah, everyone's down in the water there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Cool. And as you as you appear in Soggy Court. Um, finery, everyone turns and like <laughs> and like the awkwardest curtsy <laughs> Get, so it's, you said it's only three inches? Of water, yeah Okay, I'm gonna wade Wade okay. in Please do <laughs> And you see um, there is another exit on that side and the bottom right side as well, again with bodywork guards and a crocodile stationed there Mm -hmm. um, uh, the yeah, Chamberlain steps down into the water and then follows. What does the Chamberlain mm -hmm. say? At, at the top of the ramp, there, the Chamberlain um, kind of bows to you all. Um, now that you are properly attired as uh, representatives of the Soggy Court, you may visit Bavlona's cottage with the book at your earliest convenience. I must now attend to our now our new guests here as our friend, long-term friend of the Soggy Court, the Drow Now, and her courtiers have arrived. A gracious welcome from Gallop the 19th to you, Drow, of course. <laughs> hey, ready, say then. <laughs> and he, um, and he, <laughs> he disappears. He disappears off with Drow Now <laughs> and courtiers. <laughs> in tone to yeah, awesome. introduce them to King Gollop the 19th as prestigiously as possible. Probably going to have Drow now return a VHS tape. <laughs> um, 
Um, well, do we want to go immediately to to Bavlonas? Or do we want to figure out more if things go poorly and we have place to hide resources? I I definitely want to look around here more before we go barging into Babylonas. And then she, she, Daisha's just like jumping up and down and splashing emphatically. Yes. <laughs> um, Emin is definitely going to be like mm, we uh, can't exactly be too obvious about it and he's going to you know, point over his shoulder at the enormous alligator <laughs> that willie is standing stock still like not moving staring at it transfixed on the ramps up to the the one down into the water there's a strange, I mean, there's a strange we're guests ticking of sound the court. <laughs> <laughs> well placed uh <laughs> I mean, we're guests, and he said at our leisure, guests can't walk around. Well, there's only one way to find out. Think of me fondly. And <laughs> Willie steps forward and gingerly tries to step around the crocodile. Um, as you appear at the doorway, in Soggy Court's finest, finest garb, the guards and crocodile bow and dip out of the way. Willie looks over his shoulder at Daisha and Emin. Who immediately go, follow. <laughs> right? And then we'll bow his head and do one of those ineffectual, you know, waves. <laughs> and he will saunter his way down the ramp. Uh, I do feel it necessary to, uh, to describe what everyone sees uh, since Emin did bring his own. Oh, please. Um, <laughs> he, you can tell almost immediately that he hasn't worn it in some time uh, <laughs> because it is just a little too small. Um, <laughs> like the, the cuffs of the pants, like the big like ring of, you know, ruffles comes up like above his, like almost mid calf. Um <laughs> And you might you might even get the impression that this is something he wore as like a kid to like uh, you know some debutante's party or something. Did you, did you perchance to. visit the summer court itself? <laughs> uh, potentially. Mm. Um, Funny because he's uh, already so small. It, it <laughs> is. Um, it is a very nice like lily pad green at that. So the the cohesion pleases Emin very much. <laughs> um, but I, I do think that he looks quite dapper. It is very clean at that as well. Who knew Emin was such a pastelista? What, what kind of green was that again? Oh, a lily pad green? Lily pad green. I could just see some some lady of the court being like lily pad green doesn't he realize <laughs> that it's now <laughs> moss emerald <laughs> you know okay oh I got just out of season don't ruin it for him don't ruin it for him Okay, so we're going so, down this. As you yeah, you make your way out, um, you find on the um, bottom right side of the palace are several jetties um, protruding out into the larger body of water again that surrounds the central um, kind of pool here. Um, and again, to the top right, uh, um, once more, you see that flash of light. My friends, we don't know how deep this water is. So, maybe, let's go see what that lightning is. Yeah. I, I don't see why not. So, um, John, did it... As Emin disappears in the other direction. <laughs> Bye, Emin. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's Willie. 
Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, it's it's really. Really. <laughs> top right? I my thought bad, it was top bad. right. Yeah, it was top yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Came, you, you were closer where you were, down the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that's another bedroom. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know he's going to be there, but every time that these crocodiles appear out of the darkness, it's a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a trigger oh moment for me. Right one of the one of the first times we ever used dynamic lighting on Roll Twenty, um, one of our players back in Dragon Heist days before we used to stream, um, was terrified by something that was appearing around the edge of a building. It was just it was a it was the name of the map. <laughs> it, oh was my God. it was like it was like the curve it was like the curve of an S or something. He was convinced it was the edge of a token. He was like, no. <laughs> okay, so um, as you. Um, I'm gonna head up a bit, a bit, a little, a bit further um, up from there. You come across a jetty um, with the flickers of light um, at the end of it. So if you wanna head right from there, Willie and Emma, um, that'd be the Whoa. right spot. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yeah, Willie. Willie stays back. <laughs> <laughs> So. I should just start screaming, boys! Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Where? Where have you gone? Gone. Okay. Right. Um, now, we do have some art for you here. Um, as emerging oh. out of the mist and fog, you see a rain cloud balloon. This oh. one. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. In fact. Um, and hovering um, as it is up there, contained in some sort of magical net, um, it must be. Um, there is just this huge cloud. Um, let me get the proper description here. Um, so yes, this big black balloon floats over the lake, tugging at its moorings. Beneath it hangs a basket made of black wicker and wood, which serves as a merchant's store. Um, a large pane of grey glass is drawn closed across an opening above the counter, and a sign mounted above the window reads, Wondrous Wares and Fair Fares. <laughs> the balloon is not made of fabric, as you get closer and you see properly, but rather appears to be a roiling dark rain cloud that has been contained somehow with lines and netting. What would you like to do? I look immediately to Willie, who I know is just drooling and like drawing yeah. virtually. <laughs> um, when Daisha looks at Willie, she will note that he has his meager coin purse out and is rapidly counting through his coins. <laughs> and like, I will not need to eat for a month at least. I, I will be okay. And um he looks at her with a huge grin. Oh, we Please, we must go in. I don't think you can buy it. No, no. I buy it. There's, there's a shop at the at the bottom. Lipshin, do you not understand? This is a magic store. A truly magic store. Like in the stories from when I was a kinder. And Willy Wolf confidently walking into the Portal, whatever. Um, there's, there's just a storefront on the edge of the hut, and there's the okay, glass. Okay, we'll walk up to the storefront, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we buy fireworks here in the US. So. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, and as you do, um, the glass um, props up, it hinges up, you know, um, above the um, above the window, and, and a little, a little uh, prop like falls out into place. And you see, peeking over the counter, two small, dark-skinned figures um, that look like this. Oh boy. Um, the, the small the smaller of these two. <laughs> wow. Alright. Darkling. And the taller being a Darkling Elder. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> Gonna take them a little more seriously than I was originally going to engage with this uh, social encounter. Okay. <laughs> um and they and they're like they're like Yeah. Look what the cats dragged in. I don't suppose they've got anything worth trading anyway, huh? Come on, Bobble. Close it up again. Yeah, you're right, Trinket. I could smell them from here. Willie, Willie will hold up a finger and say, 
One moment, mein good man. Eine Minute bitte. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, yeah. this is from Eddie's <laughs> Eine <own>. Minute bitte. <laughs> um, uh, one moment, my good man. I have a most wonderful device with a mechanical enchantment that will cause your vision to gain ten times in its acuity, allowing you to see the most tiniest of minute details as though they were right in front of your face. Would you be interested in such a wonderful artifact? He leans down, pulls up a handful of telescopes. Now! <laughs> ah. Oh no, no, you misunderstand! Although you are familiar with lens work, so I am <laughs> quite certain then you probably don't want my hand ground magnifying glass from the lens makers of the Dale Lands. <sighs> Willie will try to look very like. Are you are you impressed? <laughs> I'm not sure you're familiar with the economics of this realm. <laughs> look, we could discuss a price, but who knows if we have anything the likes of you would want to buy. And he points down below the counter and there's a sign hanging there which reads Available for a limited time only. Very good thimble. Brackets. Fingertip not included. A mug of bumble beer. Brackets. Has a nice sting to it. <laughs> Dusk Mallow Pie, brackets, with decorative bite marks. <laughs> a bundle of dry wood, brackets, great for starting fires. Ink portraits, brackets, if we have to look at you, so should you. And a moonlight monocle, brackets, no more fumbling in the dark. Thank you again. Mm, Willie will say, I am quite interested in. Oh, the, the Moonlight Monocle and the. Um, uh, oh, the, the portrait. That sounds odd. I've not, never seen an artifact that is a portrait. I. Yeah, yeah, and any one or two other things that you think might interest me, a, a student of the arcane. Now, are you saying this to the one that was referred to as Trinket or Bauble? Uh, which is which is the um, the shorter one, Trinket? Oh no, they're both they're both the short version. They're both small. Yeah. Oh oh oh, then Bauble. Bauble, okay. Bauble, yeah. Um, Bauble leans forward over the counter, looks down at your feet in their overly curly toed little booties that you have acquired in the uh, soggy court. Changing rooms. Yes. Hmm. Well, one of these items is going to cost you the rhythm in your step. Hmm. Billy is getting hit after hit as far as people taking things from him. <laughs> like, not not taking because he's giving this one potentially but it's like a perfectly good price if you don't want it piss off I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> um while Willie is contemplating his situation um the only thing that Emmett is interested in is that monocle as well so he's going to kind of sidle up to the counter and wave over Trinket and, uh, you know, kind of cover his mouth and say, what do you want for the monocle? To the Trinket? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Trinket leans forward and looks you deep in the eyes. The color from those two little peepers. Um, and, and and I mean, to be fair, these are pretty pretty regular fay, you know, costs. 
Yeah, he he's not shocked. And um, when like after hearing his the, the offer that Bobble offered uh, to Willie, um, he's going to like very purposefully slam his hand down on the table or on on the counter. You got a deal for the monocle. Yep. Okay. He's like. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and he produces a small marble and holds it in front of you, just like resting it against the bridge of your nose between your eyes. And he, and she, sorry, excuse me, utters the phrase, You be mine. And there's a strange kind of like, almost like tugging sensation around your eyeballs. Um, <laughs> And no. Don't don't worry. You don't you don't look like Arnie in uh, in Total Recall. <laughs> 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 no. um, oh God! It's just a slight tugging sensation with no no physical um, manifestation of that sensation. Right. Um, um, and the color of your eyes, which is, <laughs> um, it's like a kind of darker brown, like a chestnut brown, I would say. Okay. Well, not anymore. Your irises are now transparent oh. to dark, dark patches, just you know, showing the the darker interior of your eyeballs <laughs> as the oh color God. is drained into the marble. The marble becomes the same color as your eyes, and Trinket tucks it away. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. And passes you this monocle with these beautiful engravings on it, and there's moons of the various in the various phases. Um, around the edge of the monocle and it has the same properties as goggles of night the magical item goggles of night so you may add that to your um, inventory beautiful willie will look at the picture and see if it's the portrait is it the the missing triptych by chance no oh, oh. no no they, they, it's, it's an offering to do a portrait of you Oh, <laughs> no, they're not going to take my, yeah, no. Okay, um, uh, how about the symbol? Might I see the symbol? Um, the... The symbol without a finger in it. <laughs> yes, um, they, they bring it forward, and it is very nice. And, f and for this, you want the rhythm in my step? That's all. Cheaper half the price. I mean, you seem familiar and comfortable with the prices and negotiating around here. What do you suggest? Is this a fair price, or is the true debt something so onerous that I won't even be able to walk tomorrow? Um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything so so vicious. Just it is literally no. the rhythm of this thing. Do so you think it's probably probably related to his dancing ability? <laughs> so I'll clap on one and three. Great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. That's jazz, though. And it's still rhythmical. Sorry, one and one and two, and then skip three and four. Right? <laughs> one and two and four and three and two and one and six. Um, yeah. So, all right. Just a, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I will. I will trade the rhythm in my step. I don't dance anyway. I, like I have two left clogs on. What's the the symbol? Oh, if it's worth so little, maybe it's not worth this. You kind of you kind of devalued yourself there rather spectacularly. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, now I will never get to dance with my mama and my new bride on the day of my wedding. I will not get to dance with my daughter on the day of her wedding, nor the other daughter, nor the third daughter, nor the fourth baby daughter, nor my granddaughters. I will not get to dance with any of them. Oh, the, the darkling the dark screen Dice is wider and, wider and wider and wider. He's like salt. <laughs> <laughs> Willie will hold that. Willie will hold out his hand. The thimble. Um, well, before you do that, um, trinket. Yes. Uh, sorry, bauble produces. Oh, bubble. Yeah, yeah. Um, bauble produces a wooden marionette, and makes it um, dance on the countertop, repeatedly uttering one, two, three, one, two, three, and you, deprived of your rhythm. Lose all talent for dancing. <laughs> Quote unquote. <laughs> Great. I just, I, yeah, we're going to get to Scabatha and she's going to be, 
a dance off. That's just gonna lean towards uh, Emmett and be like, "Did you know Willie had so many?" <laughs> Um, and in return, a very intricately carved and engraved thimble is pushed across the counter towards you, Willie. Um, and you may add to your inventory. Very good thimble. Very good. This isn't the one we were looking for, was it? That We are looking for a thimble, I thought, right? Or am I confusing Peter Pan? <laughs> I don't remember a thimble. Me neither. Neither do I, but we might be. <laughs> okay. I got. Look, I have a symbol. Good for sewing. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what sew is, right? <laughs> a needle pulling thread. <laughs> Anything else? The next one is that you can't even work it in. Dough enough to follow sew. You can't work that in. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. All right. Uh, no, I thank you. I thank you, my good man. Thank L you. But awesome. la, by the way, surely. <laughs> <laughs> um, have we encountered Dusk Mallow before? Um, Dusk Mallow pie. Yes. Um, it hasn't been served anywhere that you've you've seen. Okay. Maybe maybe a darkling speciality. Oh, would Emin know anything about it? Um, give me a history check. Sure. Well, first roll of the night. Uh, that was a three, so five <laughs> total. Okay. Um, you know um, of Darklings as... Um, you know, fey creatures that have existed for a very long time, and they often um, live in secluded caverns um, and um, cellars and things beneath towns of uh, other species. Um, and they are generally thieves and assassins, not traders. Um, and beyond that, you, you don't know anything about them particularly. They've, they, they, they never existed in Prismere. Mm. Okay. So they can't be local. Um. Well, not not seeing anything else on the menu that interests him. Um, I think that um, Emin would, at the very least, ask them about this rain cloud balloon. Um, and kind of you know point upwards and say is uh, is that yours or um... are you calling us thieves no not at all I mean Duke did you guys come with that or was that already here no it's how we traveled here that thing can fly it's a balloon all balloons fly Yeah, well, I'm it's in not, that track. It's not just for decoration. Let's put it that way. Did you guys make it or did you buy it? None of your business. I, well. Would you be willing to trade for that information? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. You got a nibble. <laughs> Some look here. Um, tell you what. I will tell you everything I know about the balloon. In return for um, yeah. There should be a drum roll here for sure. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. 
Your ability to use nouns. <laughs> <laughs> no dice. The law of surprise. <laughs> Oh. What's up? Mm. The law of surprise, where he finds out Jared at the end of The Witcher. He just read, oh, blank. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's, it would actually work in, like, Fey realm. Like, that's the perfect thing, right? Something that one has that. Yeah. Well, that, that was the whole point. I think they had adopted it from the elves. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. Um, every single piece of knowledge I have on this balloon, all of that. Let me carry the three. And put it over there. And yes. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Your breath. You asked for it. Yeah. Now, you, um, know, you, you know that won't be literal. Right. Oh, that's you, almost just disappointing. Just, 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 no, it's a little horrifying kill. because he's... Which one are you talking to, Emin? I probably would have continued talking to Trinket. Mm -hmm. And Trinket is the girl? Yes. Yeah. The, the female that you... Mm -hmm. is take your breath. Take my breath away. <laughs> hmm. And that's how we lost Demon. <laughs> no, singing like that's how we lost Willie. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, wow. Uh hmm. So <laughs> my so I I would know that this it, it's not like a literal thing, right? It's like Yeah. <laughs> oh, who hooked who? <laughs> well, I mean, mm. considering this, everyone um, Bolly, by the way, is that is that the right uh, is that the right place to link and click through to uh, follow your channel um, for tomorrow? Um, I will be playing in a one shot with Bolly Firesmith tomorrow. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to it. Tomorrow oh. for me, probably oh, cool. the day after for you people. <laughs> it is going to be in Barovia, and those of you who are familiar will notice that recently our barbarian paladin Bjorn um, has renounced and had the, the spirit of the ladies of the thanes drive out his barbarian nature and become a pure paladin and as he did that the barbarian side of him was thrust out and materialized as a pure oh. barbarian elsewhere in barovia and i shall be playing that barbarian tomorrow on volley oh channel. my god <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Oh, perfect. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so please do Absolutely, join us yes. um, at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, if you would like to join us for that on Saturday. Um, so, Emin, what say you? Mesmerizing Cobra, thank you for the subscription. And welcome, welcome. Uh, Emin gets the sneaking suspicion. <clears throat> that they don't know much at all about this balloon. So he's going to he's going to kind of like pat the countertop and be like, you know, um, I might have to take a rain check on that, no pun intended. <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll see each other again. You know, I told I told Bulbul that he was being rude when he called you witless, but you certainly are describing a lack of wit. Jonas! Bye! Boom! <laughs> the slang closed the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got what I wanted. <laughs> As he, like, 
polishes the the monocle on his shirt and <laughs> Yes. I hope when you put it on it's just a moonbeam out of your eyeball. <laughs> wow. I think that would be hysterical. <laughs> um also as one of our dark vision lacking members, which is a good thing for you. <laughs> Is there indeed goggles of night? And uh, Emin is going to, uh, you know, as somebody who it does enjoy dancing, he's going to walk over to Willie and be like, I think that was too steep a price to pay. Personally, I, I wouldn't have taken the deal, but, you know, everybody's different. As he looks at you with his translucent eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, most unnerving, Emin, but look, I got this symbol. And it fits, not only on this finger, but this finger, but this finger, and then Willie will, and this finger, right at the closed shop. Beautiful symbol, put it in a pocket. Mm -hmm. Well, should we see about delivering the book, or explore some more? Yeah, you've only, you've only seen the, the top half of the... Uh of the yeah. uh, downfall. There is the whole south south region, the lower region. Oh, yeah. And, but Emmett never told us about the message in the cup, did he? He has not mentioned it. No, no I have not. Mm. Um, and there was, there was a building that you went past there, at the edge there of the uh, of the thing. This and, guy right here? Mm, yes. Um, before we do go in the building, I think as we reach like the head of this jetty right here, Mm -hmm. Um, Emin, he's going to, you know, gesture to Willie and Daisha. Like, guys, come, come here, come here, come here. Um, and he's going to take out, like, a piece of paper and a, and a quill and start writing. Um, and he's going to write the message that he saw at the bottom of the cup, you know, so as to not, um, verbalize it for any you know wandering years um and he's going to to write out the message uh you know find illig the baron of muck stomp the the uh oh my gosh is it the, the rebellion the lives the, the revolution, revolution lives. Lives. um and he's going to pass it to willie and then willie the gesture for him to pass it to daisha and then to Kore, and um, he's going to say, now, this was given to me as we were meeting the king, so please, um, let's wait to talk about it. nods yeah. and uh, after everyone has read the message he's going to take the paper and he's going to eat it um, and then continue his way around that little building right there mm -hmm. okay yeah this this sturdy wooden hut is uh, rising up out of the soggy earth um, but uh, as you make your way around the uh, to the left side there, there is an open door. An open door? Mm -hmm. And what do I see inside? Um, as you I'm peer peeking. through, you can see that at the back are two holding cells with thick mangrove roots serving as bars and a small round door closing off each cell. The floor of one cell is covered with several inches of stinking water. The other cell holds a figure in rags slumped against the back wall. I am going in. Okay. Is it dark in here? Can, like. I mean, just yeah. You know, there's no yeah. There's no lighting from um, so it's just pretty gloomy. <laughs> um, and you see um, slumped against um, the bars there, um, with their feet kind of disconsolately splashing in the water. Um, is a, a bullywug. And uh, she turns 
and looks up. Who are you? Uh, nobody important. What did you do to get here? Roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> A six. I rolled a three. <laughs> She's like, I shall not divulge my secrets to you, outsiders though you may be, and she gestures towards your clothes. You are clearly members of that rotten court. Um, I don't know if this would earn me another I don't know. I'm going to be like, okay, then rot and like turn around and go to walk out. <laughs> she. Bluff, As... I don't know what she would roll for like a, a, a bluff or. I don't know. Performance or persuasion? Performance? Yeah. Make it a kerfuffle? Oh. I mean. If it, I mean, if it was a threat, then intimidation, but... Yeah. Mm. Alright. Well, I've left. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, Soul Wars RPG. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We are oh, nice. in the holding really? cells of the Soggy Court, the Bullywig Court here in the Feywilds. They have discovered a languishing knight who they would assume, is the um, co-conspirator of the, the rescuers of their fairy dragon friend, Sir Tolivar. Hey, how um, you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you, Tidus. Emin is going to like, as Daisha kind of makes this performative like gesture and starts to walk away, um, he's going to write, are you, like, he's going to write, my name's Emin, are you Illig, on a piece of paper, and, like, pass it through the bar. Okay. Um, and the Bullywig looks up at you. <clears throat> Illig. I do not know anyone of that name. No. My name is Morgoth. Knight of Wards. Hmm. Are you with your stroppy friend there? <laughs> Just, just that Daisha's retreating back. <laughs> um, in a way, yes. Hmm. She is my friend. And this Daisha is way. friends of our rotten king. Um, more like, um, Well, like gophers, I guess. More people willing to do whatever he demands. This whole place has gone to rotten ruin since she arrived. And she just nods her head aggressively in the center, in the direction of the center of the pond. would like to make an insight check on Morgort, Knight of Warts, um, to see if we are being led astray or these are his honest feelings. Her? Mm -hmm. Yep. No problem. Her honest mm -hmm. feelings. Um, Nat 20, 26 total. Nice. You've got to let those phoenixes fly, folks. And... 
some, some fluting over the mess. By the way, it's, it's just seem our Soul Wars RPG friends speak a little draconic, so. <laughs> Soul Wars RPG, no mean summer. Yoko Sword, Phoenix, see what you are. こちらはあの D&D ほとんどやってる Twitch のチャンネルです。みんながどんな TTRPG やってたんだろう。素晴らしいセッションだったでしょうか。遊びましょう。どうぞゆっくり見てください。ありがとうね、レイド。Okay, as you, <laughs> Bolly, is that is that called Sekos? Yeah, <laughs> I recognize that tentacle. <laughs> um. She, um, yeah, she's 100% legit. She's right. languishing here, captured by the court. Uh, all right. I would not say that we are friends. We are doing what is necessary to survive at the moment. Are you imprisoned for what? Speaking against? Speaking against the crown? Um... She pulls herself to her feet properly and does a low courtly bow. Um, sorry, knightly bow, I should say. <laughs> she's pretty, pretty against the court. Mm. Um, she's in the ragged and stained remnants of an orange surcoat, which bears the um, sigil. S sigil or sigil? I always get them mixed up. I say sigil. Sigil, I think. Yeah, one of them's the mark and one of them's the city. I forget which is which. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, she, she bears the uh, the sigil, and um, it's a great helm um, fashioned to resemble a frog's head um, on the circuit. Oh. And she's like, I am Morgoth, a balloon pilot of some renown. My friend Wigglewog and I helped a fellow honorable knight to escape the clutches. Willie Willie will hold up her hand. Will, will hold up his hand. We are friends to Sir Talavar. And indeed, finding you is one of the reasons we came. And her her, bul her bulging eyes like bulge even wider. Uh, the name, uh, <laughs> Sir Talavar's name. And she's like, oh, did did Wigglewalk and Sir Talavar escape safe and sound? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a deception check. <laughs> Would that be Willie trying to keep a secret? He's lying. <laughs> well, well, the dice paid the dice paid me back with the three for a total roll of seven. You have a what crystal? is going on right now? You have a crystal if you wish. Um. Nah, nah. Willie can't <laughs> keep a secret. Really can't keep a secret, and that's actually yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's canon. Simple. It's canon. It is. It's, it's more than canon, you know. So. <laughs> um, okay, so um, um, the eyes, you know, the bulging eyes narrow. She's like, please, tell me what happened. He is actually uh, being held hostage by the mother. In return for services that we need to do to, and he waves his hands. Crack this. The mother. Yeah, yeah. She, she unfortunately held a small village of very nice lads called Mudchuckle uh, under her sway, and we sought to interject ourselves and abrogate the situation. It originally was not an optimal solution, but eventually we were able to restore things to the point where the citizenry of Mud Chuckle are now quite happy and are quite uh, welcoming when we go to visit them. So, yeah, success. So, everything we risked, everything we are currently suffering was for naught. You said he, who was captured by this mother, Sir Talavar. Sir Talavar. Uh, so what? He, so what? A wiggle. He wasn't my friend. captured. No, it's well, he wasn't captured. He willingly submitted himself to be held hostage, for terms of the agreement. He had uh, faith in us that we would. Is this not right, Emin? Yeah. Um. 
it sounds like she's a little more concerned about what was it? Wiggle wart? Wiggle wog. Wiggle wog. My bad. Um, <laughs> their um, the swamp balloon crashed into the slanty tower, and um, he did not survive the impact. Thank you, sir, escape. <laughs> um, she slumps down onto her knees in the water, her hands holding onto the bars. But Wigglewoggles, an even better pilot than I, it is her that Hag must have used her magic to punish their s escape. Yeah, it, um, it, if I recall, it did kind of look like they had been shot out of the sky, right? Or had they just crashed into the tower? Yeah, as you observed it from the causeway, the balloon was moving normally and then suddenly rocked out of control. Yeah. It, that, that would appear to be the case. Yeah. Please. If you have any shred of decency or nobility, true nobility, not what they purport to be so in that dilapidated rotten palace. Get me out of here. I must release Sir Tolivar. Get word to the Summer Queen. Deal with this hourglass coven. Um, if we let you out of here, where do you intend to go right away? To rescue Satanaba. Hmm. I don't Go. think that's going to be possible. What was that, Daisha? Coming, Daisha. One moment. <laughs> yes. Um, realizing what Willie is doing, he's going to say, thank you, Willie. Um, remembering that one of the conditions of the deal with Mother was uh, that her presence not be made known. To Bat Lorna. Um, to Bat Lorna, yes. Um, and, you know, thinking to himself, well, the more people that know about her, the more potential there is for her existence to get back to Bat Lorna. Um, I... I am afraid that he is in, uh, he is quite unreachable at this time. Um. Well, Sharif, there is the four of you and I, we can, we can steal one of the balloons, escape. Grab Sir Talivar and then be gone from this place. Escape this swamp altogether. You mean leave hither? Yes. There is one who can guide us through the mists. This is true. We, we've met him. Oh, uh, Clapperclaw, yes? Yeah, yeah. Splendid, splendid. Um, give me a second. And, uh, Emin is going to, you know, hold up a finger and, and buzz his way out to, uh, everyone else. Okay. Uh... 
Guys, I don't know what to do here. I mean, we we could use as many hands as we can get, you know, but... Uh... Corey, Corey says, well, um, I agree. The, uh, the good knights would be a useful ally, but timing is probably important, though. And that is what I am worried about. I don't think that we can go on a full offensive right here, right now. And she is, pardon the expression, hopping mad. <laughs> well, surely we can do whatever we need to do in Babylonis, and then come by here on our way out and use them as our escape. Are you certain? I think if we don't let her out right now, she's fit to croak. <laughs> uh, I, I, I agree. Will he die? What, what do you think? I, I agree. We cannot take her with us. We are dressed like pops for crying out loud. What happens if we are found dragging a prisoner with us? We will all end up in there. No better to do what we need to do and have an escape plan in place so we can just directly go to it and leave with our balloon pilot. Mm. You wouldn't want to let her out on the way back? No, is that what no, I'm that, saying? That's, yeah, oh. that's, I think, the plan. I thought you were we saying don't... directly and skip her. How about? Releasing her now merely alerts the court and the authorities in Babylonia that we are operating. She does not know this Baron Illig, so that could be another resource. I think it behooves us to tell her, yes, we will release her, but we need to find allies, material, weapons, other soldiers, a balloon to escape in. We need to make arrangements with our pilot. We have, you know, the pilot and the navigator, so no, we can let her out once all those things are in place. Now, hold on. There is a third element here that we are not considering. Which is? She's lying. Will, will you she got the, You got the natural 20 uh, insight. Oh, I thought you said she was being... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you know she's not lying. She's not lying. I'm saying, mm -hmm. oh, no, no. I... She's... Being completely candid at it. From the bottom of my heart, my trained investigator interrogator skills. <laughs> I used the Keimschleif method on her when I was asking her those questions. When she was delivering a high degree of veracity within two percentile. Mm. Mm. Trying to sell it. Yeah, and Emin doesn't know much about this at all, so he's it's going right over his head, but in an effort to not look like an idiot, he's just like, you know. <laughs> oh. like, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, but who? Who? Two percentile, I mean. Exactly, but... Emin. Exactly. Mm. Well, I mean, if you're that confident, then I am, I apologize for uh, even considering that an option. So, okay. All right. So, I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to tell her we're going to come back. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so she, she, looks, will... she looks up expectantly as you come back. Aww. And, John, what was her name one more time? Um, Morgort. 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 The Knight of Warts. The Knight of Warts. <laughs> nice to get in chat. All right. Um... He and like, he wants to to do the nickname thing with her, but this is a serious enough situation where, you know, he's gonna he's just gonna say, "All right, Ms. Morgort, um, I cannot let you out now, but we have one errand to run." We will come right back. Hmm. 
when you do, bring me a blade that I may defend both my honor and your smooth backsides. <laughs> a blade. I think I can do that. Change out of those stupid clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she says, not realizing that Emmons are his own. <laughs> and he, he's, uh, he's going to choke on his pride and say, This is my church outfit. Yep. Yep. I, I will do that. But she, she looks at you um, conspiratorially um, there, Emmons, and says, If you're errand takes you in the direction of her cottage be careful for she will no doubt be there she is a recluse and rarely leaves mm. if you are caught perchance you can bargain your way out she is wants to make rather unpleasant bargains <laughs> Does she have a uh, favorite form of payment? She will do something for you if you are willing to do something for her. And watch out for those little replicas of herself. Lawn links, she calls them. Little slimy tadpoles of things, but devilishly fast oh yeah we um we've run into one before it was not pretty but um yes th thank you very much for the advice and we will be back <laughs> and she starts <laughs> doing push-ups in the water <laughs> to train for, <laughs> train for her escape <laughs> You rocky montage. Yeah. <laughs> and pull-ups on the roots of the ceiling. Right. <laughs> she becomes Goku. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, she is ready and waiting to fly you to safety. If you steal a steal the balloon that you saw being repaired. Amen. Mm. Right, so what would you like to do? Um down at That's those there, there weren't any on the map, but down at those docks on the opposite side of the uh, palace, there were little boats that could take you across to the far side, if you want. Oh, okay. I'm so... I think we're directly below the palace right now? I don't know. No, you're, you're top right of the palace at the moment. That, oh. that skinny path is going to take us back, back to, to the, the, uh, the to king. To the king, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Oh, all right. Cool. That's... I see where we are. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. It is. It is accurate though. It is. You know how you, how you're experiencing this place through the fog and the mist. Oh, she's. Oh, it's, she's just right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Emin. Um, um, Emin's in the right place. I'm just following Willie because I don't want to be alone. <laughs> right. I'm. I don't even know where Emin went off to. D down. Down with where you are. There he is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I mean, why would you run off like that? <laughs> um, uh, oh, let me just I, um... transport you over to the other side. Stand still for a sec. I didn't even realize you guys were gone. <laughs> there you are. So you transport over to there. On the opposite side, as you pull a little boat, a boat across there. There's the boat. There is a boat on this side. <laughs> Oh, good gravy. Woo! That this is, is a, a big, big map. Big map. It's huge, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, Alright. Uh, when, when we finish here, I'll show you the whole thing. It's very nice. And as always, the borders are beautiful. Um, okay, so um, there is, as you rise up out of the, uh, the from the from the river bank, there is there's another river kind of going off to the top right um, as we're looking at it. Um, you see um, there is a rise of ground to the left, not your left, the, as we look at it, the left, um, which rises up, and you can see kind of looming in the fog there a massive tree 
um, not unlike um, your home, Emin, as was. And then kind of to the lower part, down from where you are, um, there is um, some large mushrooms looming out of the mist. <laughs> Stay tuned, which way are you going to go? You end up to the mushrooms? Is, sure. it, is the trees over here? The trees to the left. Okay. Of the, of the... <laughs> this is fun. This music has oh. turned like Dark Dream Willy Wonka. <laughs> Hello. Oh, okay. Oh. Low tree. What are, we, what, are, what are we looking at here? What are, what the... are these? And I mean, um, so. As you clamber up the slopes of that uh, slightly slippery, soggy hillside there, um, there is this massive tree with several holes that dot the trunk of this gnarled old tree and grows on the shore of the lake. Um, the tree has lost all of its bark, and a few withered leaves cling to the ends of its twisted and knotted branches. One end of a clothesline, as you have seen often before, is tied to a high branch on the northwest side of the tree, and sorry, the top left side of the tree. And several old garments hang from the clothesline, as you've seen in other places. And the other end disappears into the fog, hovering over the lake. And um, there are little buzzing, flitting shapes of sprites that seem to live in the cavities of this tree. And they come... Um, flitting out of the holes as they hear you approach and they look down and they scoff. Ah, look at this lot. Ah, Bitsy, Midleaf, Timbella. This lot stink of the material plane. Pure. And they start shooting at you. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, what? <laughs> Why? Why the violence? Are we? Um, are like, are we an initiative? Just... What are they shooting at us? <laughs> um, they are shooting with their tiny little arrows. <laughs> um, there is four of them, so they will shoot one at each of you. <laughs> um, look at them, dressed like bullywugs, but. Smelly by half. Yeah. Here they are. These are the sprites. <laughs> oh. I don't know how we can still stink of the material plane. We've been in your swamps and your mud and your muck. <laughs> oh, believe me, it does not wash out so easily, you silly snake. Yeah. <laughs> And um, the arrows. Are they within um, swatting distance? <laughs> uh, no, they're buzzing up in the tree there. Um, Eleven against you, Willie. <laughs> Eleven does not hit. Okay, so you managed to jump out of the way as this little tiny arrow thuds into the soil beside you. Uh, Emin? Uh, dirty 20. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that hits. Um, you take one piercing damage. Right. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Um, but as you're like, ow, as it kind of like hits into you, um, there is a strange, creeping, painful sensation, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. God damn it. <laughs> Good lord. Wow. Okay. I am rolling rocks tonight. Uh, a five. You have a crystal? Ah. Hmm? Wow. You have a crystal? I, I do have a crystal. You know what? I am sick and tired of being poisoned. <laughs> So, uh, there we go. That's a dirty 20 in response to this sprite's dirty 20. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, you are... Okay. <laughs> um, Daisha. 22. You also oh take God. one piercing damage and a constitution saving throw, please. I'm going to be immune to poisons by the end of this campaign. <laughs> Princess Bride, just a little bit of poison. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly that. Sixteen. <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> okay, um, you're okay, Daisha. Um, but again, that same nasty tingling sensation as they zip, 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 zip through um, and around here. Um, and I'm sorry, 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 uh, Scarlet. <laughs> whilst you're not here, but oh, only an eleven. Not so sorry. <laughs> 
Sca- Scarlet also jumps out of the way. She's like, oh, watch out, these are nasty little things. Mm. Um, um, so I'm just going to go across the screen. Oh, Papa Dragon with that inspiration right back to Emin. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, so, Willie, what would you like to do? Um, how high up in the tree is the pixie at my... They're probably about... 10 o'clock. They're probably about 20 feet up. Oh, they're pretty high up? Mm-hmm. And they kind of... They, huh. as they, after they shoot, they zip back into those kind of holes in the trunk. And you can see them peek. You can see them peeking out, but they are there. Yeah. All right. Willie will... Yikes! One, two, three, four, five, six. And go back sort of down the hill. Just... Can walk around the hill from lower down. Okay, look. That's my turn. That's what I'm doing. Just moving back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, Emin, how about you? Um. Let's see. Emin can fly. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna. I I see this rope. Uh, around like the top of the tree. Yeah, it's one of the clotheslines. Yeah. It's a clothesline. Yeah, these are all clotheslines. Yeah, the, the, everyone that you've seen, they're going off towards the Babylonian cottage. Oh. Okay. The various um, hanging on them. Mm-hmm. I'm going to um, fly up a little bit, um, probably about like ten or fifteen feet, mm-hmm. um, and again you know, try to talk to these sprites. Be like, hey, we we don't we don't want anything. We'll leave. What they they, they come they come that little head pops up. <laughs> Look at the size of you, you big fat oaf You know what? And Emin is going to yes. grab a garment off of this clothesline. Go, go, go around to the other side then. It's on the opposite yeah. side. Yeah. Right here. Mm-hmm. And he's going to jam it in one of the holes. <laughs> okay. That was mean. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, you, you grab grab one of the shabby garments and just like plug the hole with it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. That's it. I am gonna be like, I can't reach the holes; they're too far up. So I'm gonna be like, I'm so frustrated and mad. That, you, do, uh, you do have your weapons. You, you don't you don't have your armor, but you do have your weapons. I don't know. I, they're so small. I feel like it's not <laughs> worth it because they're. Like, they're not going to have loot. They're just annoying. It's going to be, we're going to get poisoned. And it's going to be like death of a thousand paper cuts. It's just, it's not worth it. <laughs> Dice is so frustrated that her list is going to come out. He's going to be like, rub this and like, go to walk away. And join, join Willy. <laughs> okay. That's great. You can... So mean. These little, like, sprites bullied us away from their stupid dead tree. They're mean. I'm gonna it's a willy. The short <laughs> one's always off. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, okay. And um, that brings us back to them. Um, one of them is trapped in, but the other three come buzzing out and shoot at you again. Um, willy? Yeah. Um, a 22. What? All the way down the hill? Little bugger. Yes, that hits. <laughs> Good. Um, okay, that is um, one piercing and a constitution saving throw, please. Yeah, it's, new, it's great music, again, Nuclein. This is from the Sirenscape Witch Light sets. And it's called Fairy Fighting Music. <laughs> Fairy Battle Music. Dirty 20. Um, okay, so you are not affected, so you just take the one piercing. Um, Daisha, in your general direction, only an 11. Uh, 
You okay? Is that... Is yeah, that I'm fine. Okay, even without the armor, yeah? Mm hmm Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. And Mr. Pastiche. Natural 20! Unbelievable. <laughs> so you take two piercing damage. <laughs> doubled. Oh, no, uh, yeah, doubled to two. And that can't save you. Come on, they're not worth it! <laughs> it's a wonder he could even fly with that big, stupid body. <laughs> Never mind, crush them! <laughs> Um, is it, so, how's the concept? Hold on just a second. An eight. An eight. Okay, you are poisoned. Um, and... Um... The fourth one... Um, comes out um, of a different hole <laughs> of the one you plugged up. <laughs> it's like, as if we only had one door, silly! And he's going to shoot at... Well, actually, he's going to go for you, Emin, because you tried to block him in. Um, sure. So, um, he buzzes up into the higher, higher branches and shoots down at you. 24! <laughs> They're really good shots. Wow. <laughs> um, so again, one one piercing and one more save, please. I know you're already poisoned, but there is something that can happen if it's really bad. 18. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, they're just buzzing and flitting all around you, just laughing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that stupid monocle. Like, and one of them buzzes in close and it's like oh, he's got see-through eyes because he writes into your soul and it's empty <laughs> Willie Willie will suddenly think back to some of the myths and legends he studied in his early days preparing for this career of fey investigator warlock and he will pull the thimble out of his pocket remembering some weird connection between thimbles and pixies and sprites and come running forward i have this is tribute was this marvelous intricate very well made symbol serve as our toll for safe passage oh look he's got a little thimble mm, makes sense he probably made those clothes himself <laughs> <laughs> Willie Willie will put the um the thimble back and very just patiently pull out his crossbow, pull out a bolt, cock and load, make sure like make a big production of checking all the all the attachments and all the 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 hooks and everything, like really checking his equipment and then get it loaded, make sure it's the, the perfect bolt, settle it in his shoulder and take aim up at the one um, that he last left, and he will step forward until he can draw a bead on the one pixie that shot him. Go for it. All right. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? I bet you can't hit a barn door, let alone a giant tree. <laughs> Willie will, will, yeah, great. Yeah, Baron, I'll double check that. Thank you. Um, Willie will um aim for right next to the pixie. Right next to the pixie. You got, you're hitting the tree. Yeah, it's like right next. To well, I rolled an eight, so watch me kill the little guy. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. If you if you're just shooting the tree, you can just shoot the tree. It's it's a big All right. tree. All right, perfect. Let me just click this. There's a twang, and Woody's bolt goes flying through the air and thuds with a in the um, 
bark. Well, sorry, the trunk of the tree. It is without bark. And there is a rumble in the ground. And the branches start to sway. And there is a shaking and a deep roaring sound as a large hole on the side opens and the slumbering tree blight that the pixies were hoping you would damage heaves itself out of the ground and all of the pixies just start laughing their heads off and disappear deep within the tree and I do need initiative now. <laughs> Well, thank you. I was so worried you were just gonna walk away. <laughs> you, you, you had to shoot me, didn't you? You, you had to shoot Willie as he's walking away. That just. Oh my god, I was just so totally not even gonna engage. And... <laughs> Where is he? Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, Nightheart Gaming! Welcome in again, friends. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing very well. It's been away for a week, so it is nice to be back. Let me just put this oversized token here. Rawr! <laughs> Evan, the whole tree starts to move and swirl about, slashing out with its branches um, as this tree blight um, starts to move around. Welcome in, Raiders. We've got a giveaway and stuff going on. Please jump on in there. Um, let me pop that in there and just get some uh, initiative. Boop. Okay, um, you do all get a turn before it does, which is good news. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you're the closest, and you remember just how dangerous these horrible plant type monsters can be. And as it rises up, it's like. And the branches start to swirl around. The clothesline twangs as it's torn free, and the garments and the rope splash down into the water of the pond and disappear. What would you like to do, Emin? All right. Um, I am going to run away. <sighs> <laughs> GD Mao, GTFO. I am going to take a torch out of my bag. <laughs> Sorry, no. I am going to use my druid craft to light that torch. And I'm going to shove the torch into one of the holes of the blight. The tree wow. blight. Okay. <laughs> Wow, um, that is <laughs> cool, man. That's brutal. Um, roll me a sleight of hand with advantage. Okay. Of course, Nate Hart Gaming, you're welcome. It's good to see you again. Uh, 19. 19, okay. You do manage to do that, so um, roll me a d6. Okay. A five. Um, okay. Come on, Colby, you got this. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys, I just need to do one more thing. Sorry, it had, because it was motionless before, it had advantage on that uh, initiative. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's worse, <laughs> so it's okay. My god. <laughs> so, might as well just keep it there, it doesn't matter, it's in the same spot. Okay, um, so. Um, as, um, yeah, so, sorry, what was the damage you gave me? Five. Okay, now, this tree by its nature here on the banks of this pond and covered in mildew and moss and things is rather damp, so it doesn't burn, you know, more than you would hope, but it does do that normal damage. But the giant tree that is uprooting itself from the ground does not seem too affected by that. 
as it just looks looks around, you know, these two gashes in the side of the uh, of the trunk just like narrow and animate like eyes and like as it roars at you from inside its mouth, there's just a little sprite just ripping the bird. Yes. <laughs> um okay. Uh with that I am going to um By the way, Cory Cory is saying it's like, let's get out of here. I'm going to, seeing that not work the way that I wanted it to, um, I am going to bonus action disengage yes. um, and get as far away as I can. Okay. Uh, so that's... Yeah, 30, 10, 30 feet. 30, yeah, about right there. Okay, thank you. Um, Willie, what you doing? Dice your own deck. Um, yeah, Willie will immediately take the dash action and move the full 60 straight south away from the tree. No problem. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, ending up over there. And then we'll use the bonus action trait, uh, chicken, and we'll keep running. <laughs> oh, no, that is my, that is my turn. That is my no turn. Problem, Screaming yeah. the whole way, yeah. You go charging Get off that direction. You do see um, those large mushrooms looming out of the mist ahead of you. Uh, maybe a good place right. to hide. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, and Stasia, how about you? I am going to go... <laughs> You finally pick a fight worth having and everyone's going to run. Fine, like super disappointed because she was, <laughs> I was getting hype. I was like, yes, we are going to rage. It's going to be great. Everyone's running though. So she's going to run and dash. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> All good, Rubble Jax. Willie, Willie ran south. <laughs> Did he? Yes. Which way are we supposed to run? How did we get here? Um, right. You know, you know so was... the north is just water, and that's where the boat is. I was here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay. Dash is half, right? Half your speed if you dash? I know, you can go your full speed again. Okay. 50. 55 to this corner, 60 to this corner. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Seeing her pass by at the edge of his vision in the frog fog, yeah, yeah. Willie will hello. <laughs> hello! <laughs> yeah, for <he's> over here. <laughs> okay. I see. Ears um, bent intently, intently to the fog, listening to your yes. Emin's screams and being beaten by firewood. <laughs> By the way, everyone back home, we are seeing more than they can see because they can they can only see what their own character can see, whereas we can see what all three of them can see. So we do actually get a better view than they do. <laughs> um, okay. Um, now, Big Barkless, as he is affectionately known, um, <laughs> tears his roots from the ground and charges the thirty feet to next to you, Emin. <laughs> Um, as you as as he roars at you with the flames like billowing from um roll another d6 he takes another d6 damage as he's on fire sure. uh it's a one oh. Ooh, okay um normally i would say every little helps but not very much in this case no um, and um he swings at you um mm -hmm. once with a um once with his branch, and once with one of his roots, one of his roots comes curling up and tries to coil around you. So the branch, okay. that is a 16. That does hit. Okay, um, you take 21 bludgeoning damage. I oh. am down. Hmm? You had 23, right? I, after the three damage, I'm out. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah, um, I am in death saves now. And Roar, crack, thud. Emin? Emin? Yoo-hoo, Emin! <laughs> that can... that's, that's canon, right? Like, Willie can shout at him and we can know. Oh, free, talking's free action, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was no response. <laughs> oh, okay, now we get to have a fight? <laughs> 
Another free action is pissing your drawers. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, Emin, you are um, just swatted to the ground. Um, and uh, in this case. All right, Willie will look at Daisha and say, wait for me. Get him and then get away from here. I will meet you back at the jetty on the other side as soon as I can. I have a plan. And let me know when it's background to me. Um, okay. Um, I mean, roll me. Well, how, how, how is this party doing it? Are we going to go the way of my uh, Candlekeep Mysteries crew and let me roll it in secret? So you don't know how close... You are? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll be I... honest. <laughs> uh, no, is he clean? Is he... That's up to Evan. That's up to that's up to Colby. Because <laughs> he's the one. Uh, Perfectly okay if you want to do it normally. It's fine. It's just a fun thing. The, the candle key no, that, crew that's revel, revel yeah, in it. <laughs> John, you can do it. Sure. Okay. Rolling. Okay. So, Willie. Ah. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it is that it leaves you with nothing to do except worry. <laughs> what is what is what is one of the memories that flashes before Emmons' eyes as he lies there? Well, that's a good question. Oh. Yeah. Um. That sprite calling me back. <laughs> there, there. Oh, this is sad. Okay, Willie will um will use his action dash 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, uh, 45, 50. Um, bonus action cast expeditious retreat, um, which will allow me to um use the bonus action and then dash again will scream at the tree here you big oversized wooden garden stake here here uh, trying to draw draw his ire and then will run 60 oh wait that's the tree there he is okay and then we'll run um if i can get him chasing me with the dash that was 15 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 40. That's 50 more feet after trying to draw him and draw him away from Emin. And that's okay. my turn. So Expeditious Retreat gives you another move? Yeah, this spell allows you to move at an incredible pace when you cast this spell. And then as a bonus action on each of your turns until the spe spell ends, 10 minutes spell, concentration, you can take the dash action. So yeah, it allows you to move like a rabbit. Very nice. Okay, so you move to cast the spell and then bonus action moved again. Correct. Gotcha. Thank you. No, just, just for my own sake, don't worry. Um, okay. So yep, you are over there. And um, Daisha, your turn. Alright, 5, 10, 15. Oh my god, I still can't see y'all. 20... Oh, which way am I going? 25. Oh no. Lost in the fog. It's very real. It's very real. 30. Okay, I'm, I, I'll dash. All right, going diagonally, John, okay? Yep. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Where the hell are you guys? <laughs> no! Oh no, you're. My turn. Well, you saw you saw the tree blight, right? Yeah, I saw the tree blight, but I yeah. thought they'd be on this side. Mm -hmm. So here I am. I did this, see the this, tree blight. I. She's between me and the tree blight, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> That's just between me and the tree blight. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. I see the edge of the tree blight, and that's it. I can't see you. Next okay. campaign, I'm playing a vengeance paladin when we come back in here <laughs> to get our bodies. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Oh my God. So, um, Daisha, there is a kukum, kukum, kukum. Yep, <laughs> I bet there is. Um, as the tree blight emerges from the mist behind you. Oh, it's... but I would like to get... Mm. Yes? Can I? 
rage, it's a bonus action. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay. I'm raging. Okay. Rah! <laughs> you um, don't as it rage, comes... you, you hype. <laughs> I'm hyped. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> We do not roll. Here he comes. Also, they've they've discovered roll jacks. It doesn't doesn't get affected by fire more than you would uh, imagine. Um, okay, it comes charging out of the mist and swings at you with its branch. Um, there. Um, that is a twenty-five. <laughs> so that hits. Um, so that is seventeen halved to eight. Okay. And then um, one of the roots comes sna snaking <laughs> across the ground towards you, um, which is 24. <laughs> okay. To hit. Um, so, um, just a moment. Um, okay, so when it hits you, it doesn't damage you right away, but um, the, um, the root um, does quail around you and um, and hold you um, in its clutches and that means as its bonus action um, Willie you just turn you see Daisha like where are you where are you and she like, comes running towards where you're you know, the edge of your view in the mist you can just make out a form of the mist and then she just gets yanked back into the mist out of your sight as the tree oh blight lifts her up with its root and oh my god, that's horrifying. Bites her. Okay. <laughs> Colby, are you okay, brother? That is 20 piercing, halved to 10. You okay? I'm here! Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> get TPK by a are you, tree are blight. You, are you... Do you cry out? Does Daisha give Willy any warning in the fog? I, I mean, you see her get yanked back, and she goes, ah! and that's, I mean. Uh, did Corey just, I got like, that. that's what she yells. Like... Okay. Right. So. The tree blight, yeah. Snake okay. on a stick. <laughs> okay. Um, and um, that brings us to Emin's turn. I'm going to roll a little dice over here. Okay. Okay. And Willy. Willy will shout out, Daisha! Daisha! As he sets and gets ready to run. Is there any response from Daisha? Um, yes. Mm, yes, and also oh. there's the voice of little pixies as well. She will die, yeah! Die, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Still here! Simple I'm triage. You still have a chance. I need to find Emin and stabilize. I can't remember if I ran to four o'clock or if I ran to three o'clock. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> chat chat hey, can see all of you. I'll put it that way. Is we're this gonna... real life? <laughs> no, hold on. Coast Guard search pattern. All right. Uh, five. There you are. <laughs> and there we go. Fifteen. Perfect. Thank 20. you, Coast Guard. Okay, so that's twenty. Got him. All right, so 20, although I'm close to the tree blight, I draw an opportunity attack. Okay, swings it with a branch. All right, because I ran into him in the fog like, ah! 21, you take 15 bludgeoning. There is a loud crack oomph, and Willie's unconscious corpse, their body, tumbles yep. into the turf oh, next to Emmett. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what? Oh, no. um, Pardon my French. That's French. F U Q U E. No problem. Unbelievable no. circumstances. Isn't that? Isn't that? I thought it was. Uh, isn't that Dale Lanza? F F U C H. Yeah. <laughs> Most interesting. <laughs> hey Daisy. How you doing? Oh my where, God. Where, where is our fourth in this? Did she just like? She's on the phone with her uh, with her new party. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Don's clearing them out right now. Come to the fair oh. we'll have drinks, a few laughs, it'll be great. Right. <laughs> oh, <my legend. laughs> Alright, so Padaisha, you're still up. Yes. Yep. So is it... Okay. Um okay. I so, am going Daisha yep. first, and uh, while well, you are grappled, do you want to try and escape? 
Yep. So get it. What would that be? Um, it is um, uh-huh. your athletics or um, acrobatics, your choice. Okay. Um, and so I think, do uh, I? I think because well, you're raging, you have an advantage on athletics, I believe. That was going to be my question. Okay. Um, is that right? Let me uh, just double check. Double check that because. Uh, and I yes, need to, it is. Uh, I like, strength saving throws. I get it. I have advantage. Um, um, Twenty-two. Yep. Nice. And twenty. Dirty twenty and a twenty-two. A twenty-two, okay. Uh, against their strength, they are very strong. Use your. Don't forget, you've got two things from chat. Yep. Stephanie, you've got. Can I use that on top of the advantage? Um, I mean, you, you get to reroll once, and you can still. You if can I still, use, so you I can get still to, use I can the higher of the three. Okay, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Oh, six. Okay, stick with the 22 then. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, <gasps> Only an 11 from the, from the tree of lights. <laughs> okay, that is an 11 there. So, um, Daisha, you do manage to break out of the roots and you can move. Great. You heard. Um, you is... saw. You saw Willie dash past and then cry out in pain um, to the top left of you. Okay. I go. I run. I don't think I have any kind of health. Anything. I. There's little pixie's wings. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, that's the little buzzing sounds. I do not have any health, anything. Okay, can uh, um, no, is in, eating something in, in range of your view there, Daisha. Sorry, is the edge of the lake right? Uh, ba, ba, ba. is the edge of the what? You can see the, the, edge lake? Of the edge of the lake there, right? Yeah. 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 Um, you see um as you um you know go running over towards and you see uh, Willie's body lying face down. In the muck, um, you do see the boats that you crossed on come around, and Corey is in the boat. She's like, <laughs> "I said, run!" <laughs> <laughs> um, I um, am. Look, where is she? So she is here. Okay. I'm going to attempt to pick up Willie. Okay. That's what. Hey, you can just grab him. It's fine. No, there's, there's no, there's okay. no, uh, there's no thing there. But you're carrying him. You're going half movement. Okay. Um. So I pick him up. One, uh, five, and I'm gonna pick up Emin. You try, try and get, get, get both of them. Yeah. Okay. Um. So um, that would take an athletic check. Okay. That's Advantage. Fine. I'm gonna use my thing from chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten is the best out of the three. Wow. Um, you try and grab Emin, but you are unable to do so. Okay. Uh, could I? No, that's a dumb idea. I am going to just take Willy. All right, so five, 10, 15. I throw him in the boat. And uh, then I, did I use an action to pick Willie up? Um, <laughs> interacting with an object is a free action. <laughs> a free action, okay, cool. Um, and then I'm gonna dash. Object, I'm afraid. The object I'm of gonna... your panic attack. <laughs> 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 Um, so does, so Willy counts as an object or no? Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's no? Fine. Okay. Uh, 15 and I'm gonna dash. Thanks, Daisy. Uh, 20, pick up Emin. 25, throw him in the boat. <laughs> okay. 30, I'm, I'm in can, the boat. You can move yourself over. Uh, you, you grabbed Emin. Boys, right? boys get in the boat. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I grabbed both of them. Okay. I, w I threw one in the boat, and then I came back, and I threw the other in the boat. You, no, you, you, you failed the athletic check, so you couldn't grab them both. Right. I So I was saying I was I had Willy, right? I was here. I grabbed Willy. I threw him in the boat, and then I asked if it was an a action. You said it was free action. So then I dashed over to Emin, picked him up, brought him back, and threw him in the boat. Gotcha. Yes? No? I see, I see. Does it work? Um, I think... I mean, like, grabbing one of them as a free action would be fine, but I think both of them is too much in one go. Okay. So I you, threw you grab... Willy in the boat, and now I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Willy, you're going to put yourself next to the boat then. I will be next to Emmett. I'm going to be next to Emmett. Okay. Prepare. Ready. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, now... Let's see. Um, okay. We got another one, Stephanie. Cousin yeah, put, Thank I put, you. I put, I put it back <laughs> Thank you. They're clearly needed, even though I have advantage. Thank um, you. Okay. Big Barkless comes thundering out of the mists below you. Um, it's just like. Um, and as he sees you trying to rescue the one that tried to set him on fire. Um, actually, he is still on fire. Actually, roll me 2d6, I mean, we missed one. Yeah. Uh, eight total. Eight total, thank you. Um, okay. And um, you see the creature just come charging out, and um, it's... Let's see here. Um... Okay, um, as you're going to grab Emmon there, um, it lunges for you with its root um, there, um, Daisha. Okay. Uh, natural one. <laughs> so it does not wow. manage to grasp you, <laughs> um, but it does swing a branch. Um, only a 12. Does not hit. Ah! <laughs> okay, so um, just whoosh, swings around and just like whistles through the air. You kind of duck underneath it and jump out of the way as the root comes burrowing up out of the soil, trying to grab at you, and um, does not manage to grab you. Um, let me roll for Emin here. This could potentially be the third and final roll if I had failed twice before. Uh, huh? Potentially. Okay. So once, once you have time, uh, the leisure to examine the unconscious form, we will see how that's turning out. Um, and um, one for Willie as well. And then, um, that's it, your turn. I pick up Evan. Okay. And I, like, I literally... Look, look at where I am. I, I turn, I pick up, and then I turn, and I... <laughs> and and Corey's, I jump Corey's waiting, she's like, come on, come on! <laughs> and I jump in the boat. <laughs> okay, it's going to take one last swing at you as you jump. Uh-huh. Why wouldn't it? 17? Yep, that hits. Okay, six halves to eight. I am passed out. <laughs> and <laughs> you fall into the boat because you were leaping in that direction and just slammed you in the back with its with its branch and it um, slams you into the um, into the boat and um, Corey is there with a boat full of unconscious friends <laughs> uh, yeah kill it we're doing secret secret death saves because <laughs> that's not terrifying and then um, Corey's like okay go go <laughs> And she was like, yeah. holding her action until you did that. And she just starts rowing for all she's worth out into the water. And you just see the massive tree blights just trying to um, just come just like wading out into the 
first part, but then it quickly gets very deep here, and um, it um, does not is not able to chase you into the middle of the stream there, and. Kore turns. She's like, Oh God. Oh God. Please. Please do not let this be the end. And she turns to Emin, who was first to go, and probably in the most need, and attempts a medicine check. Um just do this um okay um i'm gonna let you roll this for yourselves so emin please roll me a d20 okay oh what is that burn it roll one john burn it burn you have it a, burn you have a crystal it. Yeah, Burn it. I absolutely just punches you in the <laughs> live, damn you, <laughs> live. And eight. And eight. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that is her turn. Um, <sighs> let me roll a death save for Willy. Okay. And for Daisha. Okay. Oh, Colby. Colby, <laughs> man. Oh. Um, Willie was the next to go down. Willie, roll the d20. Uh, come on, cursor. There we go. How about a three? How about I would like to burn one of those crystals, please? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> Thank you very much, chat. Nat 20. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, not the same as Nat 20 on a death save, unfortunately. Yeah, right. But that is a good medicine check from Corey. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let me roll one more of these for Daisha. Okay. And Daisha, roll me a d20, please. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, chat. You can't see where they are. Sounded like a nervous okay to me, John. <laughs> like that. 15. 15. Um, and you see Corey slump back into the boat as her hair bristles with concerned looking flowers. <laughs> but not white, <laughs> white lilies, I hasten to add. And she's like, Look, I'm sorry. I've done everything I can. But <sighs> we need to head back to the court. And she starts to slowly lean into the oars as you splash slowly off into the mist towards the palace, the sinking palace. And I would like each of you to roll me a d4. Oh my god. We're gonna roll up and they're gonna be like, Oh my god, Babylona must have been so mad about her book. <laughs> no, um... No, I got a four. Okay. Two. Okay. I got a one. Okay. That is how long each of you are unconscious as you were stabilized by Corey in time the final tally being yeah willy one success one failure okay emin two successes and one failure Okay. Daisha, two successes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, make all our rolls for us. <laughs> Good oh, lord. Really the better way to go. 
Our, our keys. Thank I you did for not. That, so no likey. <laughs> no likey. That. Oh, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. There's there's a telehealth meeting for me tomorrow. I'm just telling you. I'm just. Oh. <laughs> we, do, we do not just stick with that method. You're very welcome to go back to the original method if you like. Oh no, my it's, god! It's good. It's fun. It's fun. You know? It is terrifying. Wow. It is terrifying. Just yeah. Talk to the therapist. He was rolling the death saves in secret. That monster. <laughs> He's like, he just did that without your consent. He's like, no, I said yes. <laughs> no, okay. I I asked him to do it. Right? No, I was I was good. That really ratcheted up the the like ooh because it is completely out of your control ooh, right you know that's yeah. like and to be honest uh, to be honest it, that's it's how it would be you would not know how i mean right. it, it just invites meta actions meta knowledge actions if you yeah, know yeah yeah it's like no they, they've only got one fail they're still okay i'm gonna do one more attack and try and kill it it's like no you yeah. would try and save your friends before anything else because you do not know what exactly. situation oh you're. i see right? exactly right. well that was one of the reasons why i'm like where is he and then Oh, I just stepped right next to the damn tree. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> the damn tree. Yeah, and Daisha, Daisha just blundering through the mist, like directly between you and Where the tree, you? just you know, as you had goaded the tree into chasing you in that direction. That, that was, was hilarious. <laughs> that, that was that Bog of War. Bog of truly, War. Truly, I believe that is truly how that would have played out. And Corey, <laughs> Corey says, down boy as the the uh the guard crocodile looks like it looks like it's been about to be fed as it, <laughs> these uh, these slumped corpses uh, transported towards it <laughs> oh god yeah. right comic yeah totally good to see you mate even 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 if it's unintended or it's an unconscious bias it always it will, right yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I think and i mean there's Although, obviously it's like, this is a game you know we're playing a game so you would use knowledge like that but you 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 missed an opportunity though john what would have been hilarious is if next week everybody logs in and there's corey and then three new faces with like really bad stick figure hastily drawn characters oh you know and just like hey <laughs> before you flip it all that people like oh my god he didn't three quarters bullywick party <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> oh my god i don't know we've got um you know we've got uh what was it is it jingle jangle what's the name yeah oh yeah <laughs> jingle jangle satalivar <laughs> there, there's enough yeah yeah there's more than enough ah <sighs> That was <laughs> and look wow. looks looks guiltily at Stephanie, who's the uh, the one who has taken over an NPC after her character died. <laughs> yep, don't I know it? Oh Wait. my god, the dangers. Oh I right. Mean, my thought was like, if any of us die, this is the most cheated death because there's no, <laughs> I don't know, there's no honor in we let the pixies goad us into fighting a tree blight. You know, I, I was absolutely I, mean? I, I was absolutely like, I'm not engaging. I will not engage. Willie will not engage here. And then like getting forty feet away and still getting shot, it's like Alright, I'll put a scare in you. <laughs> they yep. wanted you to shoot the tree. They wanted and then you, you were to trying to be tree. nice and shoot the tree and not kill the <laughs> And then we and then we almost died. Right. Well, it is 10 minutes early, but that is an ideal spot to take. Yeah. It truly is. <laughs> Need another two weeks off now, right? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Thank what you. A, what a return. Hang on, let's show us our escape first to, to make it a bit more <laughs> stomachable. There we go. Ah. Right. So, as <laughs> the rowboat softly thunks against the jetty on the other side. You can still hear the roars and the branches, and one of the bullywood guards come running down. He's like, "Oh goodness, you didn't shoot the pixies, did you?" <laughs> <laughs> and um, you arrive, and the bullywood guards help Corey transport your unconscious forms within the sinking palace. And you are taken up to the dry level and propped up on cushions to spend your respective hours. <laughs> um, those those D4 hours. So Daisha was out the longest, I think. <laughs> yep, four. And took the most punishment, so it makes sense. Yeah. 
Um, oh. Will that count as a short rest, I hope? Get him. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, it will. Um, I mean, on your short rest, you may use your entire hit die, and not only half, which is what you would have been getting if you had agreed to that Darkling's deal. You would only ever take Ooh. half healing from hit dice, magical healing, and only re oh. regain a quarter of your hit dice on what a an... long rest. <laughs> what an absolute nightmare. <laughs> yes. Wow. It, it would have given me, what, sleep apnea. <laughs> so I can't restfully sleep and recover. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, um, the... Minotaur in our Out of the Abyss game before he was summoned here to the Feywild along with one of the Hourglass Coven and started off this whole thing um, took a deal with a hag for his last breath oh. um, which is one of the ones I, I glanced over and uh, continued moving past um, which means you are only allowed two failed sef death saves oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yes so I mean you would have been gone if you <laughs> Oh, no, no, you only, you only had one fail, sorry. I was going to say, you did better than that. Yeah, yeah, it was only one fail, sorry. Right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Another Please. enjoyable trip to the Feywild, as always. Well, no, enjoyable. But, Says uh, you. <laughs> Says you. Skips. I have nightmares now. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> Okay, thank you, my dear players, and thank you, everyone in chat. Thank you for the follows and the subscriptions and the raids. Wonderful to see you all, as always. An absolute pleasure to be back after our week off. Um, and we do not have to wait so long for the next one, because it is a Jacenta's Tyranny Week. So, in um, a little... Um, let's see, what will it be? Uh, no, just over nine hours from now, uh, we shall be heading to the shores of the... Um, of the um, um, crap, what's it called? <laughs> ah, it's been so long. Ocean, what's the ocean called? The Sea of Fallen uh, Stars. I got it. <laughs> oh, the Sea of Fallen Stars, yeah. <laughs> yes, we'll be heading over to the shores of the Sea of Fallen Stars, to Shisha Center, um, as um, two of our adventurers, the other two are not able to join us, I'm afraid, this time, but mm. um, two of our adventurers will be continuing to enjoy the Festival of the Great, um, the um, wonderful um, celebration that is going on in the city of Merth, that they are... Thank you, Akis. Good to see you. Welcome in. It's nice, and thank you for that follow today. You too, comic. You too. Thank you. Um, and we are going to head off raiding ourselves in just a moment, but let us hear from our friends here, and then we'll be drawing a winner. So if you're not already, please, exclamation mark, enter for your chance to win Encounters in the Feywild um, from the fabulous CZRPG. And, of course, do not forget... Um, that well, I'm going to say, do not forget that uh, discount code for Nathrax 3D Minis, but Baron was telling me, and I actually checked it out myself as well um, The um, it's giving a security risk, like do not proceed to the site from the link, I mean that is the link that I was given, for and I, oh. I've used it before, oh. so I'm, I'm, I'm actually going <laughs> to pull a pause on that one for a moment as I check in with them, make sure everything's okay, make sure they haven't been hacked um, so let's just uh, put a pause on that for a moment. But we do have our giveaway going on here. So exclamation mark enter for the chance to win that. A safe, a safe thing to, to well, it does not need two exclamation marks, John. Well done. <laughs> dramatics, dramatic session. Cost me too many exclamation marks. There we go. Right, okay. Um, as I said, do join us for Tricenter's Tyranny um, later or tomorrow, first thing, um, depending where you are in the world. And then on Saturday, I'll be over... Um, on the fantastic channel of Bolly um, to do that one shot with them in Barovia. Um, do come and check that out um, if you are able. And then we'll bring us into our regular scheduled programming. Oh, no, no, hang on. Let me remember myself. We are fast approaching the fantastic No Kid Hungry charity stream. So join us on Monday mm. to create the first batch of characters oh. for Michael and Meren from the channel here, who will be joined by the wonderful, wonderful Joey, who you may know as the lead game designer at Ghostfire Gaming, Mr. Hake, who is also the project lead of the new critical role called the Nether Deep Book, and also Kelsey Dion, who is the um, writer and creative force behind um, the Arcane Library. Do head on over and join us to see what crazy characters 
we make for them, as I'll be joined by our good friends Swag and Llama for that, as always. <laughs> now, that'll bring us into our regular campaigns. Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, Out of the Abyss, with a new player appearing into the mix next week, and then into Barovia once more, and all the way around to these slumbering beauties <laughs> um, as we return to Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Now, oh, bad luck, Mooncloud. Are you on the same time zone as us? Because it'll be Monday morning in North America. <coughs> Oof, that's a long one. Let's go to sum up. Um, okay, um, Charlie, what's going on with you, mate? DM Charlie Gaming, um, where we consistently provide memorable, exceptional uh, role-playing experiences. We are um, still working on the uh, uh, Bannerland uh, West March campaign. We've been discussing uh, either doing a Marvel or maybe a Star Trek. Um, and we're talking about what short-term campaigns we're going to open it up for the summer. You know, like Fandelver Lane. But yeah, come and check us out. DMCharlieGaming.com. Discover your legend. Love your game. DM Charlie Gaming. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that is all, folks. Um, I'm going to see who our lucky winner is. So let me close up the entries here. Oop. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Um, tonight's copy of CZRPGs Encounters in the Feywild goes to... Hans the half elven something for him to enjoy with his new rebranded channel. Um, do check out Hans, everyone. Uh, fantastic um, streamer. Um, very nice person to boot. Um, and thank you all for joining us today. Um, stick around for that raid. Let's see who is on at the moment. Any of our stream team streaming? <coughs> um, not at the moment. Okay. Um, so, speaking of that No Kid Hungry um, charity event, we will be joined in our second session um, the week after next by the fabulous Quincy of Quincy's Tavern. So, let's head on over and see what he's up to over at Quincy's Tavern there. So stick around for the raid if you've got them. Let those phoenixes fly. But, till next time, as we like to say around these parts, Oyasumi Desai. Oyasumi! Oyasumi.